Welcome back to Stranger Palooza. I'm Hank Strange. We are in Elkhart, Indiana. We're hanging out with my friend Ron from American Coach, and we are looking at the new 2022, is it Ford Patriot? This is the Ford Patriot. Yes. Our first one. Absolutely, the first one. This is an exclusive video. You guys are gonna see this for the first time on the interwebs <laughs> right <laughs> nope. here. Ron is going to give us the walkthrough of this beautiful, luxurious Ford Transit chassis. Yep. All the things that it comes along with. We're going to get into that right now. This one is almost complete. Nearly almost. there. So there's a few yeah. things needed, but uh, for the most part, it's welcome to show. Absolutely. So we're going to get into that right now. Okay, Rod, so mm -hmm. thanks for letting us actually take a look at this. Yes. Uh, I really do appreciate that. And uh, by the way, great How It's Made video that we did several months yeah, ago. Yeah, that when was pretty was that? cool. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, in the heart of COVID, so everyone yeah. got to actually see the factory. <laughs> you know, we weren't allowing factory tours, so yes, uh, that, that was, was awesome. nice for everyone to have. Yeah, I appreciate you doing that. And we did see some of these in the background, but we couldn't actually do this. So it's great uh, of you to give us an opportunity yeah. to do this right now. So this is a uh, 2021 Ford that we're looking at? Yeah, or? it is, okay. a chassis underneath, but uh, mm -hmm. it is a 2022 Ford Patriot. Mm -hmm. And you know, the big reason why we decided to jump from a Mercedes to a Ford, and I'm just gonna say jump, but add it to our Yeah, because uh, you're portfolio. obviously still Oh yeah, using we're, we love Mercedes-Benz. Mm -hmm. But Ford has made a compelling product. Yeah. You know, 3.5 EcoBoost, 10 speed transmission, all yeah. wheel drive. Basically. 320 horsepower, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, 310, yeah. 400 foot pounds yeah. of torque. Yeah. Um, yeah. Pretty on demand. Yeah. Uh, you got basically every safety feature imaginable mm -hmm. power sliding door, split view camera systems. It, it's compelling. It's it, pretty, it, yeah. It, it's a fantastic product. And, yeah. uh, you know, it is quicker than the Mercedes. Mm -hmm. um, I do think Mercedes is a little more refined. Mm -hmm. But as for a van that's next to it, mm -hmm. the Ford's there. Yeah, Ford's been doing transit in Europe for a long time, since the 50s. Yes. And, but this new model that they've done, I think we've just gotten them in America in the last couple of years. Yeah. So it'll be amazing to see what Ford actually does with this as they go up here. And to me, I'm really excited to see what you all have done. Because mm -hmm. I know American Coach always adds just like that extra to everything that you guys do. So what have you done up front here? Yeah. First of all, this is matte black, right? <laughs> this is. So does this come matte black? Yeah, so let me okay. explain myself at the very beginning too. So okay. our, this is a part of our first batch of Fords. Okay. 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 Um, and this is the first matte black painted Ford. Okay. This one right here is. Okay. Yeah. So there, there's a few in front of it. This mm -hmm. is the first custom painted matte black Ford. Okay, so this done. is a custom paint job. It is. And right it's here. done at our own custom paint yeah. shop up the road. Awesome. Um, and yeah. that is the entire vehicle. So yeah. it's the exact same person that does our Mercedes custom paints. Yeah. Did this one right here. Yeah. Whoever's getting this, man, they're going to be the <laughs> king of the road. Yup, yup. So what have you done up front here? Because I think now with the, with the new Transit, it's color coordinated from the body even down to the bumper. Right. But there is no skirting. Like I noticed there's a skirting there actually is. Oh, there is yeah. a skirting. Oh, no. This is our skirt right here. Oh, so this is, yeah. yeah so, that, But that this is not, is but Ford does it. That doesn't come from with That does not come from Ford. You so added this. We added that part right okay, there. Okay, very nice. Spoiler. Yeah. Um, uh, I think it matches really well to body moldings going around mm -hmm. the vehicle. Obviously, right. we added those. Yeah. Um, yeah, they, they complement each other very well. Yeah. And of course, we matte black painted the uh, OEM aluminum Ford rims. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's why uh, yeah. it looks identical to the aluminum because it is the aluminum, just yeah. custom painted. Uh, and yeah, every nooks and cranny. I mean, look at the uh, slider door. Everything is well painted. Again, our, our paint shop does an amazing yeah. job. We have a new screen door for the Ford Patriot and Passage as well. Um, it's one that does not rattle. Uh, a lot of the sliding ones rattle. There's rattle traps. So we're doing a button-in screen door with a magnetic strip down the center. Uh, that one's actually curling up front right now, mm -hmm. but uh, in order for you guys to see everything from yeah. out here, <laughs> uh, without just a screen door in your way, uh, we have taken it off. But uh, yes, there is a screen door for our slider door. You know, I don't know how it's coming across on the camera. This is still getting worked on and everything. Yeah, it, so it, it, like I said, this, this is, is dust not and all that. Clean. This is yeah. not a detailed yeah. unit so, at all. So like when this is when this is washed up and yeah. detailed and everything, it's going to look amazing yeah. as a matte job, a matte. Well, you know, job this looks like a road trip, right? Yeah. It, this is this is this is your road trip once you get to the campsite, wherever it uh, shall be, mm -hmm. and uh, you're still going to look pretty good if you like this. Yeah. So we've got power doors here. Does yep. that come with Ford, or do you guys add the power that, that's doors? That's Ford. 
that's yeah, Ford. No, that's okay. Ford. So we're okay. only ordering our chassis from Ford one way. Okay. Um, because we are a higher end manufacturer, mm -hmm. okay, we're known for our luxury. Mm -hmm. um, we believe the Ford chassis is luxury, mm -hmm. but we want to order every option available. Okay. Okay, so every Ford's gonna come identical the same way, and it's gonna come with every single thing. And that yeah. come includes that power sliding door. Okay. All right. And all, so you're not offering a rear wheel we drive. We will not be offering rear wheel all drive. All wheel drive. All wheel drive. It's okay. what people want. It's what our customers want, and uh, we're gonna give it to them. Okay. So we're gonna start from the outside and go around, but I do want to show the up front, the cabin mm -hmm. or the cockpit. However, yeah. You guys this is look one of the here. areas that we're getting worked, worked on. Yeah. So some stuff is getting worked on and fixed up here, but pretty much the way that it comes from Ford, except I know Ford doesn't uh, send out these seats. Well, 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 let me These look you. like, you know, these look like Mercedes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So let, let's talk about a few things up front here. Mm -hmm. um, this is our own custom wrap on these front seats here, done mm -hmm. in our own sewing department. This is the SLS double needle diamond stitch uh, that we're so well known for. Um, we have uh, accents, all the plastic pieces inside to match the wood in the rear. Mm -hmm. So we've dipped all those to match the wood. And if you look there up top, and it might remind you of the old ex uh, excursions and expeditions mm -hmm. where we have our firefly control system. Yeah. So you've got the surround. So for example, on the uh, transmission shifter, on the shifter here, you've yeah. got it. Yeah. You've got uh, the so surround on there around the stereo. Uh -huh. the satin finish matching the rear wood. Mm -hmm. um, a few things that uh, uh, a lot of the customers have not seen yet on the Ford mm -hmm. are these two buttons right here. That is the power sliding door button. And then right here is your split view camera system button. That's okay. going to help with parking. It's going to help show the front nose. So oh. uh, great. So, so traditionally this is front and that's, that's what it is, but yep. it'll, sh but it'll split now. Split now. It gives you oh, more of cool. a bird angle view up front. So oh, you can see cool. your angles on the front. Yeah. Oh, It'll very nice. Okay. And then you added the uh, button for the door. Yep. Absolutely. Oh, cool. That's very nice. So those are two features probably uh, people have not seen yet yeah. um, from their uh, our higher end competition. Oh, okay, very cool. So we'll come back out here, Lola, and we'll go around. I just wanted to show everyone up front, we've pretty much got what you would get in a 2021 Ford Transit. Right. And then you guys have added um, some features up there, including the very awesome seats. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, it's... Uh, it's our, our sewing department's the best. Yeah. It really is. Uh, so with the seats, can we get massaging seats or heated or anything yeah, like yeah. that? Yeah, so is seat heat and massage okay. is an option for the driver and passenger. Oh, that's so, so nice. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, yes. you get a Ford uh, Patriot with massage seats. Yeah. And then you're also going <laughs> to heat up in the more, uh, winter. So very, nice. very nice. Okay, so let's come out and we'll go around here mm -hmm. and we'll close the door. Very quiet operation. Very quiet. Little, uh, slow. It's, it's, it's slower slow. than the Mercedes does, mm -hmm. but um, I will say uh, our production has had zero problems with it. Right. Uh, the Mercedes has had problems. Uh, yeah. So we're always looking at slider doors and one that has no problems whatsoever. That sounds wonderful. Absolutely. So that is a that is a point that can happen on all the vans. Yes. Uh, if they have power doors. This is why you see some people don't actually carry the power doors. It, it was a lot, this is a very large door. Okay, yeah. so your minivans and stuff, the size of the door is, is vastly different. Yeah. So um, there's a lot of weight associated with this. So I yeah. think that's the reason why Mercedes-Benz took so long to add a power sliding door. Mm -hmm. um, obviously Ford just added it. Yeah. Uh, but Ford, Ford's done a great yeah. job. So there's no remote on it, but if once you pull the handle and it, that it's open, it'll open, or someone could press the button yeah, inside. press the button inside, it's great. Yeah. Let's say you use this as a uh, daily vehicle, mm -hmm. drop your kids off at the school, just hit the button, open it up, there they go. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's go back this way. You do have an awning up here, also yep. painted. It, is, this, is this paint? No, it's not, right? It is painted, actually. Oh, it it's is? just a little okay. dirty. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So um, this is our uh, carefree awning, okay? Mm -hmm. And it is uh, rain and wind sensitive. It has mm -hmm. It's armless, which is nice. Mm -hmm. um, great little shade protector and uh, good to protect against mist and small rain. Yeah. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here. Mm -hmm. I don't always see these lights at the back. I think you guys do it. Yeah. What are these lights for? Uh, it's a porch light. Okay. Right? So you have the LED strip in your awning. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is a great job of giving ambient lighting. Mm -hmm. But if you're actually cooking or doing something at night, that's not enough. So you can just hit put that up. Exactly. Okay, very nice. So we don't we don't have to add that. <laughs> no, no, you don't. Uh, yeah, um, um, we always have the uh, one or 120 volt outlets right here. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, good supply of power. Two of for those if you bring little, stuff out. Yeah. If you get to do a Blackstone, you know, mm -hmm. where you're doing an electric cooktop, that's a yeah. great little plug. Plug it right in there. right there. 
And um, I can notice from the outside here, so this is an opening window. It is an opening window with okay. a screen. With a screen. To it. Yep. Very nice. Okay. That is always helpful. It is, yeah. No, no, yes. It's, you know, some of the most beautiful areas in our country have pretty mild climates. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can just open that up, um, reserve ba battery power mm -hmm. for off-grid uh, use, and just have the screens. And yeah. This time perfect. of the year, it's awesome. Great time to do it. Yeah. 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 Okay. Free air conditioning. <laughs> so around the back, what do yep. we have going on here? Anything different? Um, uh, one big thing, and it's pretty exciting for mm -hmm. these fans, uh, is the tow hitch. Okay. okay, so this is the upgraded tow package from Ford. Okay. It's rated at 7,500 pounds. Really? And it gives you a tow mode on your transmission. Oh, okay. Because so usually be you're about 5,000. Five 5, yep. So this is 7,500. This is 7,500. So, okay. This is an upgraded option from yeah. Ford themselves, not from us. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we made sure it had on the Patriot. Yeah. So, so what you could do with that is you can actually bring a car along. <laughs> Correct. Well, you know, a lot of people like to bring a toy. Yeah. You know, you're going to some of these places. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Bring, bring the Jeep Wrangler, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, do some off-roading for yeah. real, yeah. you know, and this will get you to the spot. Yeah. Now you can actually go off-road. Yeah, with 5,000, I'll be kind of worried. Like, okay, it's by the right time there. I put a trailer and then put a vehicle on top of it, but with 7,500, I think, Very yeah, you always want to leave yourself some room, like yep. some room. So that's great. So can we open, do you want to open this yeah, up here yeah, just I, show I, the I doors in the back? I haven't opened it yet, so I yeah. don't know exactly So let's take a at. look here. Well, let's take a look. One of the things that I love about American Coach mm -hmm. is these doors. And so what this means to me, obviously yeah. you've got a smaller window, yes. but, the, but the beauty of it is this is all insulated inside. Correct. So like the heat and stuff like that doesn't transfer in through to the coach, right? There are there are some manufacturers that just keep it as it is, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we do insulate the rear. Yeah. And, and you can tell by where we did that. Yeah. And also, you know, a smaller opening means more privacy. Yes. You know, it, yeah. that's, and you've got your built-in shades. Yeah, yeah, built-in shades, yeah. Um, roller shades there. Mm -hmm. That's uh, awesome. We also have our uh, screen door exactly the same as it is in Mercedes. Yeah, yeah. Right love there. this, nice, uh, you know, sturdy, solid. Yeah, it's built in. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, if, so, you, if you own one of these, you'll know. It seems like a little thing, but this is actually pretty solid. Yes. And you don't have to worry about it coming off track. No, and, yeah. and that's a common problem with yes. those screen doors. And so we've got some storage and everything. Yeah, right we got there. a pass-through storage here. And as you see, we got a, a little uh, cab, or a little tabletop. Yeah, yeah, very dusty. Very dusty. Came out of the factory. Yeah, absolutely. But under there, Ron, I could tell some of that nice wood. It's it's in there. <laughs> that <laughs> it's nice little laminate under there. Um, okay. and, and you know we got our same uh, three belted rear sofa. Okay. okay. Uh, just uh, so you just pop those through, and then you also had the uh, child tie downs. That's what these little hooks are mm -hmm. for each side there. Oh, okay. So you so, can do your child seat tie downs yep, in yep. the back here. And then another thing mm -hmm. uh, we added. You look right here. It's a one ten outlet. Oh, cool. So that, uh, that always helps. Yeah, absolutely. More yeah. to merrier on those. Yeah, if you're working at the back here, you can plug some stuff in. You got it. So while we're back here, is this a lithium model? So we probably should have brought this up earlier. Yeah. Every Ford Patriot is going to have a Freedom package. Okay. So They're standard. Standard lithium. Yes, we are okay. standard lithium. You know, majority of our Mercedes orders are now converted mm -hmm. to being lithium. Yeah. Why prototype something that uh, is probably not going to be very popular on the Ford going, going forward. forward? Yeah. And okay. so yeah, we're, we're using the Battleborn Dragonfly batteries, mm -hmm. um, 600 amp hours currently. Yeah. Yes, uh, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, pretty decent. Um, yeah. We have a 12 volt rooftop air conditioner, mm -hmm. 20,000 BTUs. Okay. We have a 3,000 watt uh, inverter and charger, mm -hmm. uh, dual purpose uh, from Xantrex on board. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and you can charge that up either by the motor running or shoreline plug-in or a little bit of solar as well, because you do have 320 watts of solar. Okay, very cool. Yeah, I, I, I'm a fan of Battleborn. I just upgraded. My van does have Battleborn batteries in it. Look in the description, you know, if you want to upgrade. <laughs> if you don't have one of these and you want to upgrade your van. So, uh, go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, 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 no. I, I just talked more about Battleborn. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic battery system. Absolutely. Uh, we've had nearly any issues at all with mm -hmm. the, the amount of vans we produce, mm -hmm. and our batteries are always solid. Yeah. So yeah, Battleborn, uh, which is their wholesale, I mean, sorry, the retail version mm -hmm. name, and Dragonfly is their wholesale name. Mm -hmm. um, fantastic product, and uh, we're, we're very happy with them. Yeah, and so where are those batteries? Are they yeah. inside or underneath? So it, we took some recommendation from uh, Battleborn Dragonfly themselves. Yeah. We mounted them underneath the vehicle in a steel shell, right behind the rear axle. That's okay. gonna keep your weight down and low, okay. where it needs to be, just like all lithium cars now yeah. are all down low. 
and it's right next to basically your uh, center of uh, the rear axle. Okay. Where a majority of your weight can actually be put on. Yeah, that's so what it you, really helps the vehicle. Yeah, you want to keep the uh, like you said center of gravity. Let me see if I can get a look at it. Can I, you think yeah, I can see it on you? Could. Yeah. Now absolutely. each of those batteries do have their own heating pads recommended from Battleborn Dragonfly as well. Uh -huh. um, you'll be able to see. There the you go. They're right green. here. Might on see this side. Lime green in there. Yeah. On that side. I so they're right here. So you got. Yeah, I believe you have three on that side and three on the other side there. Ah. Uh. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah, equal weight distribution is very important. Yeah, I like how you guys did that. Awesome. All right, Lola, sorry about that. <laughs> Let's close this up. It was 50 degrees this morning and 80 right now. <laughs> That's yes. the Midwest for you. So now we were talking about cameras and other stuff here. While we're here sure. in the back, what is that device that I can see up there? Yeah, and, and also UFO? you have the camera here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got the Ford OEM rear backup camera, Okay. which is also a really nice uh, bird's eye view of your rear of your coach. Mm -hmm. uh, with the uh, parking lines as well mm -hmm. to help you see where you're going. Okay. Um, uh, above there, that is the HD air antenna. Oh, okay. Okay. And then uh, to the left, you might be able to see it. You can see some of the solar pan uh, panels. Yeah, I can see them a little bit from here. Mm -hmm. So, oh, so those are, so how many solar panels are up there? Can well, uh, with right now, we were using different brands uh, mm -hmm. because it actually is quite the shortage. Okay. Uh, but uh, there should always be at least 320 watts up there. Oh, okay. That's okay. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. So this backup camera, you can't have it on all the time, right? You cannot, okay. no. Um, it, okay. I understand why mm -hmm. Ford and other OEMs have started basically alleviating that. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to uh, get distracted Okay. Uh, going down the road. Mm -hmm. um, so no, you can't, but uh, in uh, parking lots, um, when you're going backwards and stuff, it's a wonderful asset yeah. to have. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's great. So let's talk about, this is the service side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what do we have going on back here? I could see. Yeah, is this it's, the heat? Uh, it's it's again known as we are. Oh, it's uh, very okay. minimalistic. Mm -hmm. Not many cutouts. Not many labels. This looks um, like it's power, maybe. Yeah, that is power. Yeah, it's, it's okay. your 30 amp shoreline plug-in. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you see an exhaust there. Now, people are familiar with uh, American Coach and Midwest. Probably think that's your suburban exhaust there. Mm -hmm. That is not. That is the new Timberline system mm -hmm. that we've started using. Okay. Um, pretty exciting on this. So it is a gas powered and electric powered mm -hmm. furnace and on demand hot so water. So a combo. Heater. It's a combo. Okay. And but the thing is, it's not using LP. When uh, I mean gas, it's using gasoline. Gasoline. So from the engine. So that's almost like you used to be able to get from the Sprinter vans, right. which everyone loved. Right. But you can never get that from a regular yeah. gas powered van. Uh, we, okay. We've loved it in the testing. Uh huh. Uh, and the numbers speak for themselves. Okay. Okay. So you can go pure electric mm -hmm. on uh, this. So your hot water can either be a 5,000 BTU pure electric, or your furnace can be 5,000 BTU pure electric, mm -hmm. or you can turn the gas, and then you got 17,000 mm -hmm. on your hot water, or 17,000 on your furnace, or you can combine them both mm. to 22,000 BTUs mm -hmm. on your hot water and your furnace. Wow, okay, and that's working, is it working similar to how it does with diesel, that somehow yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pulling so, that heat um, off of the system? Our, some of our Mercedes will start to get it fairly soon, because mm -hmm. we love this product so much that we'll put it on everything. Okay. And that will be a diesel powered one, mm -hmm. but these ones are gasoline, okay. uh, because the motor is gasoline. But um, mm -hmm. we're very excited about this product, because oh, cool. it is something brand new, and I believe it's the uh, top of the line. I love the uh, contrast here of your American of the American Coach <laughs> brand and the, the colors and everything yeah. against matte black. It looks so beautiful. It does. It does and, look cool. Yeah. And how does this, so this is power. Oh, I see. So you twist it. Yep, just twist it. It's, yeah. uh, it's, twist a, it's it a nice little seal Flip it up. It. There you go. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. Stainless steel. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. That's That also pops. Like it's funny how everything pops when you put it. Uh, <laughs> And then I'm going to mess we, it up. We obviously. like good there hinges. Go. We like good craftsmanship. Mm -hmm. um, and that goes some shows. Yeah, that looks great. Um, uh, another thing, too, looking at this matte black, mm -hmm. we are offering matte silver. Too, matte silver. Well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because matte black looks really great. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you live in Florida, let's say, yeah. <laughs> where it's always hot, I don't know. Well, well, like our friend at Sunshine State. 
yeah, he drives that, a matte silver car. Yes, you know he does. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a matte silver. Uh, you know, it's basically a skateboard. It is. Yeah, poor <laughs> guy. You know, he has to skateboard to work every day. Yep. But yeah, matte matte silver would be great for the folks who are living in some place that's sunny all the time. Yep, a absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that that's one of the things. Um, obviously, it's beautiful matte. Light, yeah. You know, it's very cool too. Yes. Oh, it looks um, awesome. Yeah. In those yeah. hotter climates, it's going to spend a lot of time there, mm -hmm. and you still want the kind of the same look. Oh, yeah. Matte silver. Yeah. Yeah. So it, I, I think everything that, that usually you would see down here is kind of up here now, right? This right here is our exterior shower mm -hmm. and some of our main hookups. Okay. okay so your fresh hookup, city hookup, mm -hmm. um, and your sandy flushes as well. Okay. Okay. Now we are using a gravity dump system mm -hmm. on this vehicle right here. Our Ford's uh, Passage and Patriot, we use gravity dump. Okay. Um, you know, it, it's reliable. You know, uh, so what do you mean when you say gravity dump? We're just hooking up and then. Uh, no, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's, okay. it's below. It's below. So it's chassis. down here somewhere. Yep, yep, oh, oh, okay. I didn't even see it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, so that's also uh, well hidden. That's right there. there. Okay. Yep. So I believe that's your sewer hose container. So that's the one thing you'll have to go down low, and then there's one up front, right? Correct. Yeah. Okay. It's, you know, it's always a sticky job doing that. Yeah. So yeah. it's uh, it's making nice and discreet. It's it's down there. Yeah. That's pretty much how it is on, on mine, but it's nice to have these things up here. And so you can hook up, is this black water flush? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, and black then, and gray, you see and them right gray. there. Okay, so you can you can hook up here and, uh, oh cool, okay. And then you, there's just a switch to go for the city. Just a switch, yeah, fresh. it's got okay. one and one uh, inlet, so you can fill mm -hmm. up the campground or go um, uh, uh, a pressure fill uh, at the same time. Yeah, and then you can hide it away. Go. Stainless steel <laughs> tabs on that. Um, also. One of the great things about the Ford, mm -hmm. okay, and I'm not sure why other manufacturers don't do this, mm -hmm. but the keypad for the door. Mm -hmm. You know, that's so nice for the RV adventure. Yeah. You know, you don't, you don't want the keys. keys or anything like that. I, I know I'm one of those persons, I'm, if I'm wearing gym shorts or something, I don't want a key on me. Yeah. You know, so that's great You're for going to national code. parks and all that. Yeah. I keep meaning to put my code in, but I haven't. But it's, <laughs> you know, there's a card that comes yeah. in there and it gives you the, the code for your yep. particular van. And then you set it up really easy, put whatever code you in that you need in there and then you don't need your keys anymore. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. On top of that, you can use your app. Yes, absolutely. You use the new Ford app. Yeah, you can use fantastic. your app to open and close the, mm -hmm. the, the uh, doors and stuff like that. Check your fuel, yeah. do, do all types of little things. Yeah, and if you're, you know, I show this on all the transits, but now I think all the vans are like this. They have the gas here on the side. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I really so like you can that. open that and close it, lock it, and then leave your gas pumping. It's dual purpose. Yeah, no one's going into the coach. Definitely. You know, just have to be careful, make sure you don't break that flap off. But. <laughs> pretty good all so, right yep. yeah mm -hmm. so what's uh we can jump inside now yeah we can we'll go around are these do you know if these are updated uh lights at all on the fords I or, or I we haven't gotten those i in don't yet, believe right? so okay. so if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. the passenger version that we are unable to do because mm -hmm. we need cargo versions for these uh, rvs has a does have an upgraded light system available okay but our currently right now this is the best we can get okay, okay. understood all right, so let's jump in there, Lola, and take a look and see what's on inside of this. Yeah, let's get them and by the way, there's another there's another one over yeah, there. Yeah, just yeah for... uh, that's the uh, magnetic. Okay, we'll yeah. There. yeah. There you go. Magnetic's gonna be a pretty hot color. It's a yeah. graphite color. It's looking really good sitting over there. <laughs> uh, we use a composite flooring um, for all of our vans. This includes the Mercedes, our limos, everything else. Right. Um, and it's seamless. So that really helps if there is a spill, it's not really going anywhere until you basically mop it up. Okay. Um, and That's it's good. also pretty good against dog paws, all mm -hmm. everything like that, because you know you gotta bring the uh, uh, family pet with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty durable product. Yeah, this is something we've also shown in the How It's Made, if you guys wanna see. Mm -hmm. We're actually looking at them and they go in in one piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's yeah. Uh, very cool. Yeah, not just the laminate on top of it, but the hard one underneath is one solid piece. Yeah. Um, uh, that removes your dead step completely. Mm -hmm. So uh, some of the vehicles will do the best they can to stagger it to remove mm -hmm. dead step. Well, you don't get any dead step if you just use just one solid one, yeah, piece. Well, <laughs> I guarantee you it's not easy. It is not one of these easy. days I'll video, I'll, yeah. be, I'll be able to get uh, you guys doing yeah, that. Mistakes are a lot more costly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. 
Uh, same as, again, this is going to look so much similar to our Mercedes. Mm -hmm. We did not skip anything. Mm -hmm. all right? Because Just because we went to a Ford mm -hmm. does not mean that, oh, we're going to start getting cheap here and there. Mm -hmm. That is not what happened at all. Mm -hmm. This is exactly from our Mercedes, the insulation, everything. Um, we use poly wrap for the front half of the vehicle okay. to get the reflectiveness because it is uh, quite an angle. So uh, to get that heat off there is going to be a great idea. Mm -hmm. And then we use 15.75 Kenef uh, insulation. That's mm -hmm. designed for this type of vehicle. It's a, what's called rock wool insulation. Right. Um, and then of course you got your quarter inch, uh, quarter inch plywood, quarter inch uh, foam, and then the fabric on top of it. So quite impressive insulation throughout this vehicle. Yeah. So like you said, everything is in here that we would see in any American coach. Yeah. I see there's a speaker up here. There's at JL least- JL audio too. Yeah, there's you know, one it's here. nothing cheap there. Yeah. Um, and we, you've got a big cabinet here. Mm -hmm. So, and then we're going back to the bathroom yes. here. Yeah, yeah, um, it's the exact same bathroom that you're gonna find mm -hmm. on our Mercedes. Uh, it's a two piece, fiberglass top and a top at the bottom. And of course, solid countertop inside, uh, porcelain toilet, and let me get it for you. Yeah, that's loud. There you go. Mm -hmm. And the portal windows help it feel a little less claustrophobic in there. Right. Um, but You've yeah. got two LED lights in there, I like that. Yeah, yeah, too. Uh, it's pretty strong, too, especially at night and in mornings. Yeah, and the shower hardware, tell us about that. Yeah, so we use a wand type system. Mm -hmm. So uh, for tall guys like me, there's just no way, and there, and there is no product mm -hmm. that allows us to stand up inside here. Mm -hmm. So just give me an idea, I'm 6'5". Okay. okay? Um, I'm able to stand up actually easier in this product versus the Mercedes because I actually have a tall roof line right. here. Mm -hmm. So I gain another two inches inside here. Um, but yeah, I, as a tall individual, it doesn't stop you from doing anything. You just mm -hmm. sit on the toilet and then you use the wand to shower yourself. Mm -hmm. Tell us about the galley here. Yeah. Um, uh, so a uh, big thing to talk about the galley is actually the width in front of the galley. Mm -hmm. So we got a pretty wide angle here. Mm -hmm. um, very important. A lot of people say that's one of the biggest things that makes it feel claustrophobic. Mm -hmm. So real big angle here. That hip space. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Um, uh, dovetail drawers. So pretty high quality everything, even with our wood fascia on front. Mm -hmm. Porcelain style sink with a wand. Um, it's a little better than those Dometics, just little plastic tops, right. you know. So it's something we do here. Yeah, we've shown how you guys actually do this. It's pretty cool, and yeah. then you. You, you manage to save a lot of weight, but make a very quality product yes. out of yeah, it. Some yeah, some things you just can't get past, and that is the countertops. Yeah. It is custom made for us. A uh, small little mom and pop shop makes mm -hmm. this for us. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you got your induction stove top, nothing new there. Um, it's a great way to stay safe inside, no LP gas flying through the mm -hmm. vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, and if you wanted to grill out, go grill out in front of the coach. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't have to do it inside here. Yeah, so, I totally agree with that. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, the control up here. So I see we've got Victron Energy yes. panel as well as other controls here. Yeah, you, you'll see two different inverters from us, Xantrex mm -hmm. and Victron. Okay. Um, they're both 3000 watt, either one though. And mm -hmm. they both have dual purpose, inverting and charging. Okay. Firefly system is no different than any other one. Um, they do have the Fusion app built into them. So you okay. can control your uh, rear jail audio system from there. That's cool. Yeah. But yeah, it's nothing too crazy or different. And Again, does this it look is, like you could shut off the battery here, shut the fridge off? Is that what Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you can basically shut everything off here. So oh, okay. um, one thing we do here, okay, it's actually pretty interesting. You can actually turn off the master power, uh -huh. but keep the fridge on. Oh, cool. Doing that basically reserves battery life, mm -hmm. okay? So does, yeah. uh, if the inverter does eat a power, mm -hmm. okay? It's just, it's just how it is. It's how it's yeah. designed, okay? So if you kill all power to everything else and it's only going to the refrigerator, then you're going to keep that refrigerator going much longer much than if longer. you had master power going with yeah. it. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good idea. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. you know, it is a usable anything, refrigerator. Yeah. Anything that you have on that runs all the time is yes. going to... It's going to burn power. Yeah, it's going to... It's gonna siphon that power out of the battery. So we got a pretty usable refrigerator here. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a full uh, 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 refrigerator up here, and then we have a freezer bay down here. Okay, cool. Can we? Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll absolutely. get in there. Maybe Lola, if you can go yeah, through. Yeah, come this way, then you'll yeah. be able to see go from through. inside here. Uh, I guess you open it. Yeah, here I'll open it up. So here we go. And this is the refrigerator side of it. So what you would consider for this a full-size fridge? Yep. You can get a lot more stuff in here. Yeah, it's and not as big as you're gonna get for a class B. Yeah, and then, uh, and it's a little locked oh, right is here. it locked? Yep. Okay, there you go. 
and then a freezer so uh, somebody we know at an SSRV mm -hmm. can get, I don't know, their Ben and Jerry's or whatever. <laughs> that's right, um, that's and, right. <laughs> many Ben and Jerry's. Uh, <laughs> and of course you got the convection microwave up above. This is a big deal for, <laughs> the, for these transit vans. You don't mm -hmm. often see where there's enough room to put in a convection. Uh, it's out there, but not yeah. often. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of mm -hmm. people don't option the Ford out to where it could be. Mm -hmm. And if it is a luxury piece by that time, which mm -hmm. means you need to have luxury appliances inside. Mm -hmm. So a great way to cheapen out is to just go to a normal microwave. Mm -hmm. That's, it really is. Yeah. Or it's just the size of restraints as well. Yes. Yeah. But you can do so much more with the convection oven, yes, you so can. that's awesome. Um, we have a pretty large wardrobe in here. We actually have the Lagoon table sitting in here right now. Oh, it's on a little okay. fabric wrap. Oh, okay. Nice little bar across there. Mm -hmm. And then one little secret thing we've started doing is that is service stuff. And we're trying to make it a little easier for anybody to basically fix their van themselves. Okay. Okay. Or at least call in and we'll tell you how to fix it. Yeah. And one thing is, oh, we can open panel. up right oh. here. Here's your service panel for all of your Firefly instruments. That's cool. Very easy to get to. Yeah. And then you even have a diagram to explaining your G12 board. Your G12 board is your universal control system for the coach. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. And of course a mirror right there too. Yeah. Well, a mirror, Lola, I mean, even now <laughs> we don't have a good mirror in our van, and it's, it's really a big deal. Like, today yes. I was missing it. Oh, totally. So, hence, I just put a hat on. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, one thing that maybe uh, some people haven't seen our products in a while, maybe they were looking at them and then, you know, they got cold feet or something like that, is mm -hmm. um, we have gotten rid of the push buttons. We went mm -hmm. to handles. That's cool. Um, and there is a good reason because of it. Uh, the push buttons did occasionally break. Okay. and made very difficult mm -hmm. um people with arthritis uh mm -hmm. did not like the push buttons because we mm -hmm. use heavy duty heavy duty hinges mm -hmm. the reason why we do heavy duty hinges is because of basically it removes so much of the sound and vibration from our cabinets oh, okay okay mm -hmm. and uh, it, they have so a lot of torque and like grab to them mm -hmm. so the best way to do it is is to pull yeah. with more than just two fingers yes so it's uh it's an improvement i know some people love the push buttons but I think you'll like living with these more. Yeah, I appreciate this, and you can hang things off of them. True, true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, so it is helps. something that we've gotten. You know, hey, where where was the push buttons? And it's mm -hmm. well, I, I can promise you, at first they look great, mm -hmm. but um, living with these will be much better. Yeah, I agree with you on yeah. that. Having done it, and these these look like big storage. Hold on, let's see if I can uh, <laughs> this back up. Yep. There we go. <clears throat> this is a pass through all the way. Absolutely. So there you go. Um, if you've got something really long, you can store it in here, mm -hmm. and that would be, you know, that would be very convenient to do that. So, I, yeah, I like this. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it looks pretty good. Um, so this is this. So this finish here is this the satin finish? This is the satin finish. Yeah, absolutely. Love that. Yep, it, it is an upgraded option for us, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, you can have polished as well. That's standard. But uh, the sand finish is new to us, so it takes an extra step in our process. Yeah. Before we go back, AC here, which is also finished. Lola, if you want to show that, yeah. you want to tell us a little bit. So this is this, this is uh, uh, the uh, stock of plastic shrouding, mm -hmm. okay, for the AC. But we've dipped it to match the rest of the vehicle. Yeah. Again, like I said, we like everything to look yeah, pretty look match. At, yeah. If you look at this right here, there's a great <laughs> over the over uh, the max fan. Yep, max air fan right there. Yeah. Um, and that that, has, that, that, has that one's uh, quite uh, intensive. Uh, yeah, we've always done that one. It looks yeah. great. And there's a remote here for the mm -hmm. Max Air Fan, as well as a bathroom light outside, which is awesome. Yeah, because sometimes it's that know, easy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know that seems like a small thing, but mm -hmm. it's right where you would expect it to be, and it's convenient. Sometimes putting everything on a screen mm -hmm. um, is more counterintuitive than what you yeah. want. Lola yeah. goes through that all the time. She's like, <laughs> put on a bathroom light. <laughs> yep. Um, you got yeah. your Lagoon uh, table mount right there. Mm -hmm. I know everybody loves them, and I understand completely. It's a great product. They'd be able to move it around mm -hmm. 360, and it doesn't get in your knee room. Again, that's important to me being a tall guy. Okay. We have a 24-inch LG television here. It is mm -hmm. a smart TV. Okay. Um, uh, but we also have the option of Apple TV and wireless internet. Okay, so on this, Apple TV is an option. It is. Yeah, okay. it is an option. Um, mm -hmm. Actually, all of our products is an option. It is, okay. Yeah, but... Uh, it's a good option. It's a great option, yeah. yeah. And it comes with an Apple TV, yeah. so that's nice. And then, of course, we do have a um, window uh, TV that can be moved around. Right. Okay, and all the cords are nicely wrapped in the same fabric that come oh, with. Good. This little button right here is your HD air antenna, just so people know that little mm -hmm. green button. 
Oh, you have to turn it on. It does, okay. The people who have them currently would like to know that. Yeah. I like, so these are sensors, I'm guessing, for temperature, yes. and then you have a little clock back here. Yes, That's nice. so one of those is for the new Timberline system for your furnace, Okay. and the other one's for your air conditioning system. Okay. Okay, so that's both those sensors right there. And then this is this is the time, right? That is that is the correct time, and that is the Timberline yeah. system oh, right there. Oh, the Timberline does? Yep. Okay, yep. very nice. That's yep. a nice touch. I like that. Um, nice underneath nice here, you have your 110 outlets, and then, of course, you have your HDMI plug-in mm -hmm. and a USB. Okay. Is it USB C? Uh, it's USB. Okay. This is USB right now. USB. Um, your carbon dioxide detectors. Um, right here, it's kind of a multi purpose one. And of course, your window shades go right on up. And as you can see here, here's your screen door. You can open up the windows here, mm -hmm. which is it's, uh, really cool. Yeah, and it's a good space. And of course, you got a great countertop too to put your arm to for road trips. Mm -hmm. Makes it very comfortable. Yeah, inside of, um, I know there's some people that don't like the dark leather seats and stuff like that, no. but I think it makes it feel very comfortable and cozy back here. That's me personally. Yeah. Everyone you know, has different preferences, but they can they can option that out with you guys, right? Absolutely. We have so many color combinations, uh, but uh, yeah, this is one of them. This is the probably the most outdoorsy one, mm -hmm. you know, um, graphite walls, black seating, uh, graphite piping and stitch, mm -hmm. again, all custom. I like the cup holders here, and then of course you've got another fire fly fly. control. Yeah, that's that's the one there. for at night, you know, mm -hmm. turning off the lights, doing those sort of things. Um, yeah, lay in bed about yeah. getting up to turn everything off. And I don't know if we need to show folks. I think people always like to see it, but these beds convert down. I'm not sure whether or not this one. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And also, you get you know you get your pass through right here. Mm -hmm. um, fishing poles, skis, really anything you can think mm -hmm. of. So uh, that's that great little piece right there. Yeah. And as we've said before, on these two benches, there's, there's seating here. Mm -hmm. You could put the lagoon table. Yep. You can have, if you have a pet, he can, he, even though someone can't actually sit over there, you can get your pet. Yeah. That can be his uh, <laughs> his sofa. Absolutely, yeah. The, or, our, our side sofas are not belted. Yeah. Um, and, and there's good reason for that. Mm -hmm. uh, we, it's safety. Um, but our rear bench is uh, fantastic. It's very, actually very comfortable. Yeah, let's go up there and see how much storage we've got in those. Yeah. It's, that's actually a big storage. This is one of the right biggest there. ones. Yeah. yeah, it's a good size. It goes in both sides. Um, great place to put multiple things in there. Mm -hmm. It goes all the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty mm -hmm. big. Yeah. That's deep. yeah. And then there's another one here on this side. It's not as, as big as that, but that's a pretty big storage right there. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we, we got it uh, storage surrounding it back mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And that's that's decent size there as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, very nice. What's behind this panel here? Um, it, it's That's more accent piece. So oh, that's accent. actually your okay. bar right there, for mm -hmm. your chassis in between your window. Okay. So we jazzed up a little bit like we always do. Yeah, no, that's you know? cool. Yeah, and, and, and I guess if you wanted to, you could put something here. Just Absolutely. Make it, sure you don't mess up the <laughs> nice finish. Yeah, don't, but... don't, maybe drill first before screwing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, it would be a... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely a good place to attach something. Yes, that's very cool. All right, so let's go outside and wrap this up. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, there you go. That is, to me, a very uh, detailed look mm -hmm. at the new, brand new... Ford Patriot yep. from American Coach. Yep. Ron, thanks a lot for that. Absolutely, bud. If folks want to know more about this, where do they find out about it? I know whenever I do these videos, yeah. people say, you know what, we want to see more details from American Coach. How mm -hmm. do we know the different models? Um, What's going on with that? I, I've been working with our team on updating our website. Mm -hmm. um, this will be on the website fairly soon. Okay. Uh, the next few weeks. Okay. It'll also be updated for the Mercedes as well. So many changes have happened for us. Mm -hmm. um, so many advancements, so many changes in floor plans. Uh, so all that will be updated and uh, it will be a great place for resource of information. Send in sales and queries uh, that we can distribute to our dealers. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, it's uh, it'll be a great place for information to start. Okay, so there you go. Hopefully soon you guys will, will be able to see that. <laughs> And uh, if you've got any questions, you can leave them right in the comments of this video. And I'm sure Ron will be taking a look or I'll remind him. Absolutely. Or, or I'll try to relay the message uh -huh. and get it to you guys. This is very cool. I think you guys have done a really good job here. So if someone's looking for the, for the Transit chassis, which is very popular, yep. uh, because of the all-wheel drive and the power, which I completely agree with, mm -hmm. if you want luxury on top of that, 
this is this is worth it. What what's the MSRP on this roughly? Uh, it's just over one sixty. One sixty. And you know, once you add the all the drive, the lithium mm -hmm. package is standard. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, pretty much a bargain. That's yeah. It, it really is. If you're comparing it to the Mercedes, because if I had a four x four and lithium to my Mercedes, mm -hmm. you're you're well over two hundred. Yeah, there you go. So thanks a lot, Ron. Yeah, I appreciate absolutely. it. Make sure you guys leave your comments and questions and things like that. What where can they go to social media wise to to find you guys? You know, we're we're not big on social media. Okay. To be honest with you, we're, we're okay. not. We leave a lot up to our dealers. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess we're the. Uh, you got to get up on the socials. <laughs> yeah, I, where's I, the Instagram, I, the Facebook? I, I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> there is a there is an owners group kind of thing yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, you know, yeah, we uh, just like to take a look at what's mm -hmm. going on mm -hmm. in our customer base out there in the field. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I have most of the production involved in that group. So. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, be so. okay. we'll take a look. There you go. Thanks. All right, guys, leave those comments. Make sure you like and you subscribe to the channel here. Thank you so much for checking this out. And a big thanks also to Lola for all the camera work. Lola's been yes. great. Yes, yeah, amazing. We appreciate it. <laughs> We're out. Peace.